Good morning everybody, Lone Wolf Rick here. And it's a Tuesday morning here in Las Vegas. A little bit breezy, but uh, other than that, a nice day today. It's 82 degrees right now here in Las Vegas, heading towards a high of 89. So you can tell the temperature here in this fall weather starting to come down a little bit. We're looking northbound here on the Las Vegas Strip. Not a lot of traffic out here yet this morning, but uh, there will be. It'll pick up here later on during the day. We take a look here southbound. See the Excalibur right there. Hiding behind there is the uh, Luxor. And we've got Mandalay Bay behind that. And then we got the Tropicana Hotel right here. See a jet taking off from McCarran Airport, just went behind the Mandalay Bay there. And here on this breezy morning, we're just going to do a little walk. Hope everybody's having a great day so far. This little courtyard here, at the, here area here at the Tropicana, uh, usually when there's some kind of an event, um, I know during the NCAA finals, they actually had set up TVs and stuff in here with some uh, chairs and everything that people could watch. So for all of you that uh, have not watched uh, my video from yesterday, my walking video, uh, I just wanted to let everybody know that the uh, Cosmopolitan have mid-strip here in Las Vegas has sold. It's kind of a two-part sell. Uh, the first part is uh, the real estate and the building and the property and everything sold to an equity firm. Uh, that three partners are part of and the second part is the gaming part and the running of the casino uh, will be handled by MGM Grand International and uh, they have a 30-year contract to run that property so it'll be interesting to see what changes are made to the uh, to the Cosmopolitan as it goes through. The deal's supposed to come through sometime after the first of the year as it goes through all the regulators and everything to make sure that it uh, uh, has a snuff, so they say. Get it here at the MGM Grand for their advertising. Uh, Boxing Championship for the Undisputed uh, Super Middleweight Championship, Canelo versus Plant, Saturday, November 6th, right here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. So y'all might want to circle that date, that's Saturday, November 6th. Take a look up and down Tropicana here, we're on the pedestrian overpass. Picking up the wind 
happened in the camera, I certainly do apologize. As it's a breezy day here. Take a look over there at the Excalibur. It's my understanding that the uh, MGM Grand will pay uh, the people, the people who own the property of the Cosmopolitan and uh, the real estate and everything. MGM Grand will pay them two hundred million dollars a year uh, for the running of that property. That's on top of the one point five six five million that they are billion I'm sorry 1.565 billion dollars that, that they paid up front uh, to run the property So it's interesting, MGM now definitely owns, no pun intended, the lion's share of the properties here in Las Vegas. Now it's interesting, it's like you might want to uh, check out my video that I did from Bally's Hotel that most of the food areas have moved out of there. Uh, they still had the food court area down on the bottom level. And they still have that, uh, the Bazaar Plaza out front uh, that has some food places in it. But the actual restaurants inside of Bally's itself are gone. There's no buffet. And they had uh, uh, the BLT Steakhouse. And they had uh, The Italian restaurant. And uh, they had like a uh, Mexican restaurant in there too. And they are all gone. They all moved out. You might want to check that video out. Which to me is a precursor that Caesars is about to uh, sell that property also. So a lot of things are changing here in Las Vegas. You know, the Tropicana Hotel that we just saw back there, it has sold. And um, that property is bought out by Bally's, not to be confused with the Bally's Hotel that's here, but Bally's out of uh, Atlantic City has bought that property. So it'll be uh, some interesting times next year to see what's going on. The ticket booth there. I forgot to mention one of the other like uh, big deals that happened before all of this stuff with the Cosmo, where the San Manuel tribe has bought the Palms on Flamingo Boulevard. So, 
the property that's currently known as the Palms uh, that was built in originally by the Maloof family and then Station Casinos bought it. Station Casinos put into that property $500 million in renovation work. And then when the pandemic hit, they closed it down and they never reopened it. But the San Manuel Indian tribe will take it over. And actually run it. It's like uh, that should happen after the first of the year sometime also. As it's going through the regulatory processes now. I was going to make a comment at that M&M store. Remember when used to, during the summertime and I'd do these walks, there used to be a huge lines out there. And it's interesting, it's like, you know, the weather's getting a little bit cooler, there's no line. People would be standing out there at 110, 112, 115 degree heat, waiting to just get in there. It's an ABC store and the Hard Rock Cafe. There were some rumors. And keep in mind, everybody, this is just rumors that the Hard Rock Cafe is wanting to get back into the Las Vegas market also as far as the casino goes. You know, for the uh, for Paradise Road where the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino was, they sold that to uh, Virgin Atlantic, and that's now the Virgin Hotel and Casino. So, we'll see if those words come to maybe in the next year or so. If uh, one of these properties here that could be up for grabs. gets bought out by Hard Rock and reconverted into another Hard Rock uh, casino. The word is, is they actually want to be on the strip. Uh, on, on the strip here, so. We will, we will see if that comes to uh, fruition or not. So what else is going on here in Las Vegas? I guess it'll be interesting to see if uh, the Cosmopolitan Hotel has uh, they use William Hill which is actually owned by Caesars Entertainment uh, for their sports book. And now that the MGM will take over that operation of the whole casino, I'm sure that'll turn into a bet MGM uh, race and sports book there. I know uh, the Cosmopolitan, at least for me anyway, has been, has been uh, fairly liberal uh, with their slots and their topping and free play and all of that. So I'm going to assume that uh, that'll change once MGM takes over. So we'll see uh, how that all plays out. Take a look across the street here. 
That's the Waldorf Astoria. This tower right here. You see the Aria back behind there. Those are condominiums there. And then the Cosmopolitan. Those two towers right here. The shopping mall over here is Crystal Shops. Yeah, Mark Anthony's gonna be here, concert, a lot of sports set in October. But I was saying it's like those are crystals. The shopping mall over there, which is probably the most elite of all the shopping centers, the shopping malls here in the, the Las Vegas Valley. Only high high-end stores are there, folks. Bruno Mars is going to be here. I know that's, those shows are sold out, but you may be able to buy tickets from a reseller. So you might want to check those out. the on the strip ticketing information there for shows and concerts and everything this is their little little kiosk building right here they're coming up here on Harmon Avenue This sugar factory bar and restaurant uh, just opened a few weeks ago here at this shopping center. It's a two level thing. It's right next to the Rainforest Cafe. And then, kind of on the other side of that's the uh, Bubba Gum Shrimp Company. This is Harmon Avenue eastbound here. It has the Hilton Grand Vacations right there. Some of the other town shares and stuff. Planet Hollywood right there, the back side of that.
All right, everybody, that's going to do it for today's video. Take a look here at the Buffalo Wild Ways restaurant at Nacho Daddy's. If you're new to the channel, please hit that red subscribe button. We have almost 1,200 videos now posted on our channel. Uh, check us out. Hit that subscribe button and join our YouTube family. We greatly appreciate that. And to our subscribers, thank you very much. We greatly appreciate your support and everything you do for us. All right, everybody, you take care, okay? Stay healthy. And uh, we'll see you in the next video here. Bye-bye, everybody.